You were there in the, in the conference in Bath. Why do you think it passed without any media attention at all, given the nature of the people who were there and what so many of them had to say? Because almost everything that was said contradicts a completely false narrative that mainstream media have been you know, shoving out at us for two years. It's, it's an, it's, we're an embarrassment. Uh, and it, it really is time now for that message to start breaking through, and I think it will, that the whole narrative of the COVID story was false, was disinformation, and the, the, the countering views were not heard because of the unbelievable levels of censorship that we've seen. You and your colleagues at, at Panda mm. have described what happened in terms of the global response to COVID as having torn a great rent yeah. in, in the fabric of society. Mm. Is, is that hyperbolic or is that really as you saw it and see it? No, I mean, there, there was an unbelievable tear. Um, if you look at the, the catastrophic damage t to the working classes, the middle classes, to the entrepreneurial sector, uh, to industries like travel and entertainment and so on, I mean, there really is um, a, a huge devastation and no real sign of uh, anybody getting back to near the, the former levels they were at. And it's the arts. It's all of the things that really foster human interaction and, and the best aspects of human nature that have been squashed alongside all of those sectors that I'm talking about. So for me, it, it, it really does seem like a tear in the fabric of society and a very severe one.